Hi everybody, this is your tarot reading for Thursday the 31st of March. Thanks for joining me. Let's have a look at what's coming up for you today. Okay, first card is the Nine of Coins. Nine of Coins is um, a gardener and it represents prosperity and success through discipline. The next card is the Guide of Coins, the Angel of Coins there, Angel of Money. And that is about um, a financial blessing, an inspiration that is available to you today, which you need to listen to very carefully. That's the key word there, to listen. Listen to the opportunities. And if there's conflict in your life on this day, try and get past all the noise and get to the truthful, useful information that you can use to make your own life better and to make your life richer and more prosperous. There's some sort of blessing that comes via other people, but it's not... Um, the whole conversation isn't going to be just positive. I think there is potential for conflict on this day. But within that conflict, there are certain gems that are said that are passed on to you. You need to watch out for those. And you need to pick and choose the good stuff out of what is said. And that will actually help you. Because you feel disciplined when you can take this extra information, put it into practice, work with it. You can create this beautiful garden. And this beautiful garden is a... A metaphor for prosperity and abundance and joy and beauty in your life. The final card is justice. And we've got these two um, the criminals who I suppose are together and are trying to get near each other, which is a bit odd. Um, but justice is about cause and effect. Okay, So they're in jail because they did something wrong, most likely. Um, it also means that what effort you put in, you will get out. So again, the guidance is to choose well, to not listen to the conflict that will land you in trouble, but to listen to the gems instead, to use those on your own, to do something with it, to create abundance and joy in your life. Okay. So if you're at the gym and a couple of guys are talking about um, this new exercise technique, which really works, but then they talk about possibly taking steroids to speed up the process. Da, 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 da. You, the, the gem in that is the new exercise technique. If you put that into practice, you'll see a great result in your training. If you listen to the conflict, what they're arguing about, i.e. the st steroids, you'll end up in not such a good place and it won't be happy. So be clear on how the information that comes in feels. If it feels controversial, if it feels difficult, then ignore it. If it feels good, and if it feels like you could do something with it and you have to work with it to make it a success, then that's the green light for you to go ahead. So basically, it's a day of information gathering, being very practical, but you have to be discerning within all of that so you don't end up with a lemon, you know, and that you end up with a diamond instead. So... Um, Let's look at the numbers. We've got 9 and 1 is 10. And what's this? 8 is 18. 1 and 8 is 9. And 9 is about completion and the end of a cycle. So it's the end of the month. It's the end, pretty much near the end of the working week. But really, it's the completion point of the month of March. Have a look at what gift it's offering you. Be discerning about that. And really take from the month what it is that's helpful to you and learn the lesson that you've gained by going through March. So think back, have a moment to reflect on what's been going on and really what you're being asked to do and what information kind of seems to hammer that home today. So I hope you have a great day. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregbrescott.com. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Gregory Scott 444, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.